so phi e is equal to q by epsilon naught differentiating on each side so differentiating with respect to time on both sides so the equation will be like this d phi e by dt is equal to d by dt of q by epsilon naught so we can write 1 by epsilon naught into dq by dt 1 by epsilon naught into dq by dt is equal to current equal to d phi e by dt therefore from this equation we can write i is equal to epsilon naught into d phi e by dt actually between the capacitor plates if flux is exchanged that causes to the conduction of the current that's why that current is called ic conduction current conduction current is not dependent upon the flux or epsilon naught means this is a new type of current Mr. James Maxwell, after analyzing all the experiment, he said this one as displacement current. So the expression will change like this. ID is equal to epsilon naught into d phi e by dt. Conduction current means the current, the if the current or the electrons are flowing from one type of charged space to the another type of charged space means positive to negative terminal that is said to be conduction current current is developed due to the conduction of the charge carriers what is displacement current the amount of current which is converting to magnetic field we can write like this so therefore this is the expression of the displacement current it is displaced by small d so the amperes correction amperes law b is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi r and it was corrected with the help of mu naught ic plus mu naught id so the expressions will change like this so the corrections are like this corrections to amperes circuit law so we know that b into 2 pi r is equal to mu naught i if you integrate b into dl is equal to mu naught i this i we can write as ic plus id is equal to integral b dot dl therefore what is the modification form modified form b dot dl is equal to mu naught ic plus mu naught id therefore it is mu naught ic plus mu naught what is id epsilon naught into d phi e by dt is equal to integral b dot dl so this is the expression for Amperes Maxwell law and nothing but the correction of the Amperes law with the help of displacement current. Now, how we will we use the displacement current? What is the physical significance of displacement current? If you try to remember the Faraday's law of electromagnetism,
what is the faraday's law of electromagnetism time varying magnetic field or magnetic flux can produce electric field in the beginning of this chapter i uh, we discussed that converse is also true or not but we can prove the converse also true how what is uh, the actual statement of the faraday's law of electromagnetism time where any magnetic field can produce electric field or electric flux induced emf we can write induced emf but what is emf emf is nothing but the amount of work done amount of work done in moving a charge charge from p1 to p2 where p refers to position position 1 to position 2 that means charge exists emf will exist so if emf exist magnetic field also will exist so what we can write time varying magnetic field can produces the emf consequent time varying electric fields can also produces the magnetic fields so this is a small correction and the proof of contradictions with the help of a displacement current so what we started we started with the magnetic field to electric field conversion and we took the emf as the reference and the emf is nothing but the traveling of the charge from p1 to p2 so time varying magnetic field can produce the electric field as well as time varying electric field can produce the magnetic field next we should discuss about the properties and characteristics of the electromagnetic waves and uses of the different electromagnetic waves now we are going to see one problem which is related to the displacement current the problem's statement is like this what is an instantaneous displacement current of 1 ampere current in the space between the parallel plate of a microfarad capacitor means there is a capacitor which contains parallel plates we should find out the displacement current of 1 ampere current in the space between the parallel plates of a capacitor means in this space the current is 1 ampere this is a conduction current and what will be the displacement current for this rate and its capacitance is 1 microfarad we know that displacement current is equal to epsilon not into d phi e by dt phi e is electric flux it is nothing but the e into a d by dt of e dot a and this a i am bringing to forward epsilon not a into d by dt of e we know that electric field is equal to v by d therefore epsilon not a into d by dt of v by d and i am moving the d to the front side therefore i d is equal to we got epsilon not a by d into dv by dt now we can see what is epsilon not a by d capacitance into dv by dt is equal to id therefore dv by dt is equal to i d by c what is the displacement current 1 ampere what is the capacitor 1 microfarad that means 10 power minus 6 farad so it will be 10 power 6 volts per second 
So potential difference per unit time we got 10 power 6 volts per second. So that is the instantaneous displacement current of 1 ampere current which is present in between the space of the parallel plate capacitor of capacitance microfarad. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.